Welcome back. It's a situation police say could have quickly turned tragic. This morning, they arrested a semi driver suspected of drunk driving. Police in Lincoln County tell us the driver sped away when they tried to pull him over and didn't stop until the truck crashed. Phil Pendleton shows us the chase and arrest caught on video. Running radar on US 127 in Houstonville. A commercial vehicle came through at 78 miles an hour, and when he tried to stop him, he hit a guardrail, refused to stop. The Houstonville police chief's dash cam shows the truck speeding by. Police say the truck reached nearly 90 miles an hour, didn't stop when the lights and siren were turned on. Very hard to stop one of these vehicles once they, they get to roll and decide they don't want to stop. The man finally stopped. He couldn't tell police who he was or where he was going. <laughs> police say there was one thing there was no doubt about. In my 18 years, he's one of the most drunk uh, or intoxicated individuals I've seen in a commercial vehicle. It is a lot more difficult to get a CDL, a commercial driver's license, than it is for a typical license. The rules and restrictions are a lot tougher as well. In fact, according to page 10 of the CDL manual, it is against the law for any driver to have any amount of alcohol or controlled substance in the blood. In fact, blowing a .04 will disqualify you for one year. This driver, police say, had a blood alcohol content of more than six and a half times the legal limit. There were several open containers of beer in the vehicle. Police say the driver later identified as Roman Samlot of Russell County works for quality flatbeds out of Lexington. In Lincoln County, Phil Pendleton, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Lincoln County Animal Control was also called because of a dog Samlot had in his cab.